Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Just joined here with my three little cute cats. That's Jeffree Star. This is Ragnar. And Ali. Or Princess Ali, whatever you prefer. Not sponsored, but I am feeding them this. I try to just keep up with only chicken and turkey for my cats. I find it sits better with them. Hmm. Oh, not yet, guys. Yeah? Yeah? No? Yeah. No! What do you say? Ellie, what do you say? Thank you. Say thank you. Thank you. So generally speaking, um, Ali will lick up all the juices and gravy as they call it. And then I feel like Ragnar goes next and he eats the majority of the food. And then Jeffree Star, my little well, not little, my big minx cat. Um, he has no tail, not hidden, he just doesn't have one. Um, he will eat the rest. Sometimes he'll eat before Ragnar, kinda has the authority and the size on his brother. They're brothers. My sweet ginger cat and you can see his little nub tail, so cute. And then he also has a smiley face right there on his side, which I love. But as I said, <laughs> for some reason, my sweetily only has the urge to eat a very little amount and then drink all the gravy. <laughs> and then Rainer is taking a nap apparently. Um, I guess in case anyone's wondering, uh, Lee is clearly gray and white. That is her coloring, but she does have bangle in her. That's where she gets her pattern, her pattern from. And some of her siblings were really, really bangle and um, definitely had the chance of being really large cats and nice and spotted. But Ali, compared to a regular cat, 
is at least half the size. How I always explain it is that's my hand on her. She is basically as big as my hand, honestly. Like she has a neck, but when she's curled up, she's as big as my hand. She is very, very small. Don't know why maybe all the kittens in the litter end up small. But she's a good girl. What do you think of Ragnar? Yeah? You tired? Very tired. Maybe you won't keep me up all night. Ragnar, this cat, Ginger, um, holy has he been keeping me up late at night and he has just been wanting a lot of cuddles, a lot. Very, very needy. He honestly will crawl into my bed, start purring so loud. The purring wakes me up because he's that loud. And then he'll do this thing where like he'll swipe at my head and he'll like, yeah, like he'll pat on my head and claw on my head until I start petting him and cuddling him. Of course, Jeff is licking the tin foil off the food jar. You a good boy? You a good boy? You haven't had any accidents in so, so, so long. And you've been really behaving. You're all healed nice and good. I don't think I ever captured that, but he was, um, he pulled the muscle on his back leg. Nothing too serious, but he definitely pulled the muscle. So it took about, I should say, three weeks to heal. Other than that, really, really good cat. He's very, very shy, very timid, kind of scared of everything. I think a part of him would love to run away and never come back, and also just hide under the bed all night long. He could stay under a bed for his whole life and be happy. And then my Princess Ali um, would love to escape and love to explore the whole world. And Ragnar does not care about anything. He likes his pets, he likes his food, he likes his home. He doesn't care where his home is, he just likes it. Oh, Ali, excuse me, just because you're eating. She's actually lately eating more than just the gravy, which is making me really happy. She's putting a little bit of size onto her. She's three years old now, and I, I love her more than anything in life, honestly. Truly, I, I truly do. Nothing is better than Ali. But I keep these two around because they need each other and I feel like I'm the best fit for a house for them. Ragnar. Ragnar. Behave. If you see right here, they've broken the cupboard, but that's okay. Cats will be cats. How are you? How's my sweet boy? Yeah, I would be scared of a cat hissing too. You'd behave, Missy. Okay? Eh? 
seperti ini hmm. Definitely always um, feel free to ask questions or tell me stories about your own cats. I love hearing funny stories about cats, whether they're keeping you up all night or if they're just silly and love their catnip. Um, I love my cats more than anything. I truly, truly do. And I would do anything for them. I think on that note though, I will leave them be with their dinner. And um, please remember to like, subscribe, and all that humbo jumbo. And as Ali would say, if her mouth wasn't full, be kind to someone and rescue animals. Because Rescuing animals is very, very important. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next time.